Hello and welcome all you lovely people. You are truly in for a wonderful treat. I'm going to be showing you how I created these royalty themed baby shower invitations. So you just stay right there and we'll get right into it. Okay, lovely. So here it is, the royalty themed baby showers. Let's look at the box. Let's look at the presentation. It's beautiful. These invitations are absolutely stunning. I'm creating the scroll royalty themed invitations for my sister's baby shower that's coming up here in the next month. And they turned out absolutely beautiful. So this is the scroll itself. I wanted her to have an invitation that matched her theme. So I ordered this paper off of Amazon. It's just like some vintage kind of looking paper. I ordered it off of Amazon and I actually designed the invitation on my computer. So nothing fancy. I just designed it in Microsoft Word, printed them out on my printer and cut to shape and I put them all together. I rolled it all up and I just put the ribbon right back on it and it's just beautiful. So with the invitations, I we did add more information into the box. You don't have to, but we just want to make sure our guests were well informed. So in the box, you're going to see an information card. You're also going to see a map for parking. We just wanted to make sure that everyone knew what was going on on the day of the event. So like you can see the map for parking, I put some little tissue paper down there just to give it another element of design. If you are not new to my channel, then you can kind of already tell that I'm a type of person that likes layers. So the more layers, the better makes it a nice little surprise element. And this is just the top of the box. These were plain white boxes and I just, you know, dazzle them up and make them look so pretty with these handmade bows. So just stay tuned and I'll be giving you guys all the supplies. Okay, lovelies, let's get creating. So here you're going to see these cute little white boxes that I'm using to hold the invitations. Now these boxes were purchased off of Amazon and they're all they are is just little jewelry boxes and they worked amazing for this job. Throughout this video, you all will see that a lot of the pieces that I was using for these invitations were already pre-made. The reason why I did go ahead and pre-make a lot of the pieces was because I knew I was going to be making a lot of invitations and I just wanted to have all my pieces ready and made to go when it was time to actually put the invitations together. Now for this ghost strip that you see, it was very easy to make. It's just made out of cardstock, mod podge, and glitter. If you would like to see a video on how I created this glitter strip, just leave a comment below and I'll be more than happy to get that video out for you. So as you can see, I'm just literally eyeballing the, the center of the box and I'm securing that ghost strip down with hot glue. And I'm also going to press firmly across because I don't want that glue to be risen. I do want it to be as flat as possible so that way that ghost strip can lay as flat. Same thing goes for this bow that I created. I just went to Walmart, I purchased some ribbon and I sat in front of the TV in front of one of my favorite shows and I just went ahead and tied a bunch of bows so that way I can have them ready to go for the assimilation process of these invitation boxes. 
So as you can see, I'm just I I just eyeballed it. Same thing goes with the gold strip, and I just eyeballed the center of the gold strip, and I secured that bow down with some hot glue, and I'm just making sure that it's in the place that I like it. And once I really really know that this place I wanted to be at, I secure it with some more hot glue. Now with the hot glue gun, I just want to let you all know to be very careful when handling the hot glue gun because it can get very hot and it can burn you. So just be very careful. They do have high temperature and low temperature hot glue guns. They're both, they both still get hot and they both will get the job done. So just be careful with when handling and keep it out of reach of children and animals. Now you see me gluing this little crown down in the middle. I did also purchase these crowns off of Amazon. And all the links will be listed below so that way you can know exactly what I purchased and where I purchased it. And just look at that. It already looks so beautiful, guys. Now, if you know me, you know I like layers. So I'm going to go in with this gold rhinestone strip. I did purchase these from Walmart, I believe. I already had these on hand. And I just cut off one little tiny rhinestone and I'm going to glue that right in the middle of that crown. Now, how I did measure for the crown, um, in the crown, there's like a... A spike at the very middle so I just put that glue um, the hot glue dot right below that and I just stuck that little rhinestone right on top of that and as you're going to see here it turned out beautiful so beautiful guys now if you know me you know I love layers if you've been watching my videos you know I like layers and I just try to do as much as I can when I'm creating something and I just like to put so much into it. So here I'm going to take this tissue paper. Now with the tissue paper, it took me a couple of tries to figure out what I like best. And I found out that I like to fold them inwards. And then once I folded them inwards, I like to glue them. So it stayed and then I put them in the box. Now you can just measure it to make sure that it's going to fit the contents of the items that you're putting in the box, which I did do. You can see here that I kind of like just put everything out and put the cards in to measure it and make sure everything was going to fit nice and it was going to fold over and which it did. And it worked out perfectly. It, putting the tissue paper inside the boxes added a nice little touch. And you'll see when I put a picture at the end, I even did something extra to it right at the end. But I didn't get that on camera because I decided to do that right at the end when I already created it. Let's get started on the invitations. So here you see me taking two completed wooden rods. Now the wooden rods are going to be, they're, they were created using two dolls and then two finals on each end. So it was a total of four finals and two dolls, and they are made out of wood. And I just glued them together, and then I went outside and I spray painted them gold. So what you see me doing here now, I'm just rolling the very top end of the invitation that was left out, the gray area, and I'm rolling it onto that wooden doll. Now I am rolling it very snug, and I'm gluing as I go. So as you're rolling the invitations, you will start to find what works better for you, like the, how you're holding it, which I know I did. And it worked better for me as if I was rolling it away from me. So I'm just gluing and I'm rolling and I'm holding it nice and snug. Now, if you would like to see a video on how I created the wood finals or the wooden rods, just leave a comment below and I can go ahead and get that video produced for you. So here you see me again, I'm just centering the invitation in the center of this wooden rod and I'm gluing it and I'm rolling it as I go. So that's pretty much all that's done here. I do try to roll it as close to the border, the bottom of the invitation as possible. So that way there's no negative area. So I'm just going to keep gluing and rolling and rolling and gluing. So just keep watching that portion and I'll be back with the additional details. All right, so now I'm done rolling the invitations onto the wooden rod. So what you're going to see me doing here now, I'm just going to be rolling the invitations and preparing them to be tied off with the ribbon, the leftover ribbon we had to the side. So there's no right or wrong way to roll these invitations. I just prefer to roll mine at the same time, and I like to roll them inwards towards each other. 
so that way they can be nice and snug and even here you're going to see me tie a nice little bow on them and then you're going to see me reopen them so you can see how easy it is for your guests to open up the invitations and read them and even tie them back up them their cells you're also going to see me place the invitations in the box you do have to place these invitations in the box diagonal so that way they can fit but they still look really beautiful that way also so everyone that's this brings our video to an end if you if you have any questions don't hesitate leave me a comment below just let me know what your thoughts are on these invitations and how you how you like them or if you don't like them so much just let me know we already passed out a couple of the invitations to the guests mom to be loves the invitations and the guests that are attending the wedding that already received their invitations are loving them also so i just want to give my youtube family's input to see how you guys are feeling about the invitations can you see yourself using these kind of style invitations or could you see yourself purchasing these styles of invitation? So just leave your comments below. I look forward to reading them all. And if you are already subscribed to my channel, I want to thank you for coming back and watching yet another video. I want to thank you for all the love and support that you give me and for being a part of my YouTube family. And if you are a new viewer and are new to my channel, I also want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day and watching your first video with me. Now, I have a lot of great content that I'm going to be posting, so just make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you don't miss out on any. Again, you all, I want to thank you all for spending time out of your day and coming to watch another video, and I look forward to all your comments. And that's all I have for you lovely people. So until next time, I just want to wish you all peace and blessings.